Hello there people of the internet, my name is Tectino and welcome to the first video on my channel. So today's video is how to install the homebrew launcher on an old and new 3DS. We will be using menu hacks to do this. This shouldn't take long so let's get started. So our first step is to go to the link that is visible on the screen or in the description below and then you're going to scroll down until you find menu hacks 3.0.zip. You're going to then download that folder and drag it to your desktop. Now you want to extract the files so you have the raw folder. So right click on the file and say extract files. Select your location and click enter. Our next step is to turn off RDS and close the screen. Go ahead and flip it over to where it's on its face and then remove the screws. Pop off the back using either your stylus or your fingers and eject the SD card. Now plug it into your computer. So when you plug your SD card in, a window should show up. Click open folder to view files and then drag your 3DS folder from the menu hacks folder into your SD card. You can now safely eject your SD card and put it back into your DS. Once your SD card is back into your 3DS, you want to go to the menu settings and select change theme. You then want to select one of the basic themes such as red, green, or blue. Now you want to open up the 3DS web browser and go to the URL. Type in this URL for the old DS and type in this URL for the new DS. Make sure you don't make mistakes. Once you click enter, homebrew should start up. Now if your screen has a freak out, please don't worry, that's normal. You now have homebrew. So now you want to scroll down until you find Menu Hacks Manager 3.0. Once you open it, click A on the install option, and then press B when asked about the raw pin payload setup. Click B, and then return to the home menu. Congratulations! You have successfully installed Homebrew on your 3DS. If you're wondering how to start up Homebrew every time you start your DS, just hold down the left trigger while powering on your DS. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and don't forget to leave a like on this video. If you like my content, consider subscribing, because it really helps. Thank you very much for watching.